the range of powertrains of the new E-Class is as impressive as with a predecessor, but a bit more impressive if we talk about electrified engines. So you do find petrol and diesel engines with a power range between 115 up to 270 uh, kilowatts. And on top of this, you do find the AMG models and they offer, as we use, for instance, the E63, 612 horsepower. Important there, this is the same engine as we used in the predecessor, it's the uh, four liter V8. On top of this, you do find the electrified engines and like ours here, a 320 horsepower system output uh, with a plug-in hybrid we drove. Um, and there are the 48 volt systems as well. So there's a lot to explore here. And very interesting is that you do find a lot of new, completely new engines with the new E-Class. And about that, we're going to talk in detail now. The new four-cylinder petrol engine M254 with its second-generation integrated starter generator is definitely a real highlight. It offers up to 15 kilowatt additional power and 180 newton meters more torque. Thanks to the 48 volt electrical system, it can recuperate energy and sail with the engine switched off. With its additional electric compressor, it quickly builds up boost pressure, especially at low speeds, and thus ensures a very dynamic response. In addition, the inline six-cylinder petrol engine M256, which is also equipped with an integrated starter generator, can now also be ordered for the E-Class. Let's talk about the drivetrain of our car. The combination out of the petrol engine and the quite powerful electric engine and the automatic gearbox really works absolutely nice in that car. So that car drives like an E-Class should drive. On one hand, very easy, very nice and calm. On the other hand, dynamic enough or powerful enough to provide you with a smile on your face if you want to. Um, but very important to know is you really have to find out what is your typical drive because not always it makes sense to have this plug-in hybrid system on board because you you may just carry more weight because of the bigger uh, electric engine and because of the battery. And if you don't need it, like you normally only drive long distance, that maybe is not the perfect car. So then maybe a powerful petrol or diesel will suit you more. So you really have to have this in mind to really get the most out of this, aside of the um, benefits regarding to the uh, tax. You have to be the right person or you have to be the person that drives the right routes daily.